All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So all we have to do now is essentially create this arc right here. Now, it looks a little intimidating, but I'm going to set you up for success. Now, after that, we're going to dimension, and I'm going to show you how I exactly want this dimensioned, okay? It's very simple to dimension. So to begin, to create the arc right here, we're going to do another TTR circle. So we have this line right here and this arc right here. So I go to circle. I got to make sure to drop down menu. Tan tan radius. We should already have tan tan radius from creating this arc right here. But just in case, tan tan radius, TTR. I'm going to select this line right here. And I'm going to select this arc right here. And I'm going to type in 25. Boom. There we go. Now. Essentially, we're not done quite yet, and that's okay. We're going to trim. So I'm going to trim right here and right here, as well as this right here. This line, I'm just going to delete. It doesn't matter, okay? So all we have to do is now dimension. We already got this dimension here, which is great. We also have to include our center marks. Okay, I want you guys to ensure we have the center marks here. I'm going to go over to dimension. I'm going to select radius. That's what we mostly have. We have one diameter. So I'm going to take off my snap grid, right? So this radius is going to be right here. Then this radius is going to be for this. Again. Don't worry if it doesn't come out as uh, big letters or big numbers, okay? That's fine. We're going to change that. We also have to select the radius for this right here. I'm going to do it about here. This radius right here. Um. Oh, this radius right here. Right? Am I missing anything? I have this one. I have this one. That one, that one, that one. Okay, let me get my diameter. My diameter is going to go right here. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn off my object layer property. Okay. I'm going to select everything. Right. I'm going to right click, dimension style annotative if annotative is not there please make sure you go to let me show you other and click annotative okay now as you can see this all matches up to what we have here okay so i'm going to turn on my dimension layer properties that looks about right um I actually have to put, yeah, give me one second. I'm going to go to dimension style, dim style. I have to make sure I change the unit precision. I'm going to put one decimal point after, okay? So I don't want this zero here, so I'm going to go back to dim style. Go back to annotative. Modify, primary units. Now, zero suppression, trailing. I'm going to click that. I don't want a trailing zero. Close. There you go. So 50, 50, 62.5, 45. Now, we're not done quite yet with the dimensioning. <clears throat> Sorry. I have to create this dimension right here. Okay. Let me bring it over. Had to create this dimension. Okay. I also have to create my center marks. So I go to aligned again, aligned. I know a lot of you are going to want to do linear. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Do aligned. Now I'm going to select this midpoint here. I'm going to select this point right here. I'm going to drag it up. Uh, let me change this. To annotative. So I have 25, 125.6. That is not correct. Let me change my points. Okay. 
I'm actually going to go from here uh, to right here. There we go. That's actually correct. Now, right click, dimension style, annotative. Okay, you see that? Now, we have to get our center marks and center points. So, I'm going to go to, I'm going to change over to center layer property. Again, center layer property. I'm going to go to annotate. I'm going to change my style from ISO 25 to annotative. So a lot of you guys are probably saying, why does it resort to ISO? It resorts to ISO because metric is usually the international standard when measuring. Okay. I get it. I understand we're in America. We use Imperial. So we're going to do annotative. Okay. Change that to annotative. Now. I'm going to do my center mark in a few places. I'm going to do my center mark right here. I'm going to do my center mark right here. And actually, you know what? I'm going to do my center mark again right here. I'm going to do my center mark right here. And then my center mark right here. Okay. Also, I have to create a center mark at this point right there. Basically shows that this is essentially a circle or arc. This is a circle. There's an arc right here. Okay. Now. What we can do is there's certain ways that we can do uh, basically to remove these, I believe. Okay. I'm going to try one thing. So give me a second. There we go. Okay. So I essentially just want that center mark right there. I don't want those lines coming through, right? And this one as well. So what I do is I type in explode. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, right? But this is the easiest, simplest way, okay? You can probably just change some settings. That's fine. But I'm going to go around this. I don't want these lines there. Click all four and delete. I legit just want that center mark and that center mark right there. Then we have this. I'm going to delete this real quick because I want to have it where I use this endpoint and this endpoint for where I put my annotation. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go to linear, right? Now, linear, right there, right there, 180. Okay. So this is how I'm going to want my drawing. I want you guys to submit the drawing. I want you guys to save it as your last name, flat hook. Again, last name, flat hook. Take care, ladies and gentlemen.